My name is Kalisha Muhammad and today I'll be doing a description event called Color Changing Milk. Uh, I would do this as a whole group activity with students but it would be teacher directed. To introduce the activity um, I would model what to do for the students. So first uh, the supplies you'll need are either plastic or foam plates. You'll need food coloring red, blue, yellow, and green. You'll also need dish detergent and you'll need uh, a type of milk either 2%, 1%, whole milk, skim milk, or almond milk. Any of those type of milks would work. Okay, so to start off, I would um, I would have all of my supplies ready. Uh, my students would work with groups, but you're going to pour milk onto the plate, and you need to cover all of the surface. And then I would take each color of the food coloring and add about two drops, and you're going to do that to the center of the plate. And you want to have each of those uh, food colorings next to one another. Okay, next you're going to use a cotton swab and you're going to dip it into the dish detergent. And you want to get just enough so that it's not dripping. Uh, when instructing students, you're going to instruct them to p place the cotton swab in the center of the food coloring and hold it completely still for about 20 seconds. Um, but before you do so, I would ask the students to make predictions uh, so that when you place the cotton swab in the milk, I want you to ask them what do you predict might happen to the food coloring. Okay, so I'm going to place it in the center of the food coloring and I'm going to count uh, to 20. One two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, and twenty. And then you would place the cotton swab to the side. As you can see, the different food colorings moved throughout the milk. Okay, so after you've done that, I would ask the students to just make an observation of what they think happened when they placed the cotton swab with the soap into the milk. And I would also ask them to make further predictions by asking them uh, to think, well, what if we, what made the, the um, different food colorings move throughout the milk? And then if you change the variables, um, ask them to predict what they think might happen. So I would ask them, what if you used a different type of milk than the one you use? So I use 2%. So I would ask my students if I use 1% or whole milk or skim milk, what do they think might, uh, would the results change of the experiment? Also, what if we used another liquid instead of milk, such as water? Uh, what if we chilled the milk or heated the milk before we added it to the soap? What if we used uh, shampoo or hand soap? Do they think that would change the results of the experiment versus using the dish detergent? What if we used a deep bowl instead of the shallow plate that I used? And what if uh, the cotton swab or the food coloring was placed near the edge of the plate versus in the center? Okay, um, so after doing so, um, I would explain to my students um, the relevant science to this experiment. Uh, so you could gather your students uh, as a whole group discussion and explain to them that milk contains fat and protein. The fat and protein mole molecules can be thought of as children and the soap molecules can be thought of as candy. When soap is added to the milk, it is like giving lots of sugary candy to children. The children will become hyper and start running around in all directions, which mimics the fat and the protein molecules moving around in the milk after the soap is added. So when the children are hyper and they're running around, they're going to bump into pieces of furniture and disturb them. This is similar to the fat and protein molecules bumping into the food coloring particles and causing them to move around. 
So again, I would have a few of the students actually role play and have a group of students act as the children who have been giving uh, the sugar, uh, sugary candy and now they're acting very hyper. And then I would have another group of students acting as the fat and protein uh, molecules and they would act as furniture. And so when the groups of students that are um, have the very uh, hyperness are running around, they're going to bump into the, the milk particles and kind of transfer some of that energy and start causing them to also move around frequently uh, throughout the room. Okay, um, so I hope, again, this is my uh, descriptive event called Color Changing Milk. I hope that you enjoyed this tutorial video and I hope that you do this experiment with your students and have lots of fun. Thank you.